What is going on, YouTube people? Neo Cards and Comics here for a little PSA reveal of a different take. Uh, I got back this 35 card bulk order today. However, three cards in that order we're going to talk about separately, and then I'll do a full reveal on uh, the rest of these in a separate video. But I wanted to separate out these three to talk about on an individual basis uh, to be able to spend a little bit more time on them versus trying to work through 35 cards in a single order because these are the CSG cards that I cracked out. So these are all the exact same card. I sent just three of these cards in this order. Uh, they are a John Kenzie Noel, uh, who is an Indians prospect, uh, that I sent in an $18 PSA National Special. So I bought these on eBay, got them shipped in, cracked them out. So we have a nine, an eight, five, and a nine, five. And we are going to see what these came back as. That's these three cards sitting right here. So how did this work out for me in the long run? So some details on this submission, just to kind of give you guys and girls the lay of the land on this one. And like I said, we'll do the full 35 card reveal uh, in a later video. I just kind of wanted to talk about this one here. This order is the one that I shipped out right before I left for the national. It was entered in, it arrived the PSA on 728. It was entered into the system on 89 and it shipped back to me on 930. I got it back in my hands on 103. Not 100% sure when this video is going to post up yet. So like I said, we'll dig into the depth uh, of this pile in a separate video. We are going to talk about these three cards. So I got these for the nine, the eight, five, and the nine, five. I got for less than raw in some cases. On average, uh, I believe I paid. So the three of these averaged out to be 40 bucks a card. Uh, a couple of them, the nine and the eight, five, I got for, I think this one, the eight, five, I believe was like 30 33 dollars i think the nine was like 36 dollars and the nine five was like 55 dollars then it was 18 bucks to grade them so essentially my cost average is 58 a card on these roughly speaking in a psa 10 this goes for about 225 bucks in a psa 9 it goes for about 60 bucks so essentially a PSA 9, I would break dead even if I sold them today. A PSA 10, I'd make about 160-ish dollars. When I cracked them out, the 8.5, I could see had a soft corner. So I knew why that one got the 8.5. The 9, from what I remember, had a little bit of a surface. I should have to go back and check the video. I did, and if for those wondering, it was a CSG crackout video uh, where I showed how to crack their slabs. And then the 9.5 I thought looked pretty good. I didn't see any uh, major issue on it. So these are the previous grades. Let's go ahead and crank through these three really quickly and keep this nice little short and sweet video and kind of talk about some potential ROI and stuff here. So first up, once again, all three of these are the exact same cards. So I don't know which one of these is which. We can make some assumptions, but I have really no way of knowing. We have a PSA 9. Once again, this is just a base first Bowman auto. Uh, if anyone knows anything about this guy, essentially he has extremely low batting average, like in the 200s, low 200s. But I believe he led the miners in um, home runs. He's just a ton of home runs. He got promoted to AAA right before the season ended. So... We have this one in a PSA 9. Next up, number 2, PSA 9. So a second PSA 9. So, so far, I am basically dead even, which means I'm actually losing a little bit when you factor in shipping, eBay fees, this, that, the other. Last but not least, we need this one to bail us out. Ah, the PSA 10. There we go. So one for three, which, you know, I'm assuming 
the 9.5 crossed to a PSA 10, and then the 8.5 and the 9 just turned into PSA 9s. So we netted out. Uh, this cost us about 60 bucks a card with grading fees. Uh, shipping, I could average that out because this is a 35 card order. So, you know, divide up whatever the shipping costs are and all that other nonsense. Uh, back and forth is only going to add on a, a couple bucks, maybe a dollar total to the cost. So we'll just call it 60 bucks a card. And, and once again, in a PSA 9, this basically sells for $60. So I essentially broke even on those two. But this one is sitting at about $160 bucks in profit from what I purchased these for on an average. Now, I think I paid $55 for this one plus the $18 grading fee would put me at like 73. Let's just call it 75 bucks. They sell for about 225. So I'm still doing pretty good on that. I like to just, when I send it in a group like this, I like to average them all together uh, because it just makes things simpler. So we got those three back, two nines and a 10. I actually don't think I'm going to put these up for sale right now. I may move off the nines if someone wanted one and, you know, I could just move it for what I'm into it for, or maybe take the profit on the 10 and roll the dice on the nines. To me, this isn't the best time of year to be selling baseball prospects. So I'm just going to kind of sit on this. When I initially sent this, part of the reason was we didn't know how long this stuff was going to take to get back. And baseball prospects are what you want to see. You, you don't want to see right now. I don't want to sell these till February or March. So Maybe I'll sell the 10 now, take some profit back, help pay for the submission and hold the nines and see if he gets a little buzz moving into the spring. Most of this, all the sports stuff on it. So you can see there's two stacks here. This stack is all sports, which is all baseball prospects with two Darius Garland cards mixed in. And then this is a Marvel insert set that I sent the whole set to be graded. So uh, but once again, we'll cover that in a second video. So those are the results. Not too shabby for the first time doing this with CSG. It kind of went how I expected. You know, if all three of these would have nined out, I basically would have lost a little bit of money on selling fees. If I sold at present day value, assuming the card does not go up or down, it could go down between now and the spring. But not bad results. 33% crossing over. Still come out ahead, like I said, about 150 bucks or so. I'll take that all day. You know, if I bought three more and sent three more in and got 110 back and made 150 bucks on each one of those, turning it over and over and over again, that's a pretty good way to go. Now, I could have targeted, you know, all nine fives instead of this eight five and this nine. These just came across as really good deals because I literally got these for, I think, $10 less than what they were going for raw at the time. So I figured it was worth a shot. You know, why not send them in? So that's what we got. A little CSG to PSA crossover. Catch you guys and girls on the next one. Peace.